Welcome back to Terminology Tuesday. Today we're going to begin profiling our native pines, and I thought I'd start with this pine that I've been standing beside in my previous videos. This is one of our largest native pines and one of the most common in North and Central Florida. This is loblolly pine, Pinus tata. Loblolly pine occurs in an extremely wide range of habitats, from moist, poorly drained floodplains to drier upland slopes. It's also very fast growing and gets very large. And these characteristics combined make it a top choice for the timber industry, for harvesting for wood. And so it has been planted in pine plantations across the Southeast, which has expanded its native range. One of the identifying features of the species is its bark. Even from a distance, you can notice it's much more gray in tone than our other pine species, which tend to be more brownish or orangey in color. And it has these very long, elongated bark plates that are uh, very chunky as the individual ages and become separated by deep fissures, which can be several inches deep even. The needles are another key identifying feature. Pinus tata, loblolly pine, has needles in bundles of three per fascicle, and the fascicle is the bundle. And occasionally you might see two, but they're almost always in bundles of three for this species. And they're of a medium length, usually about seven to 10 inches long, sometimes a little shorter, sometimes a little longer, but that's generally their length. So they're longer than many of our other pines like sand pine and shortleaf pine and, and spruce pine, but shorter than um, longleaf pine. One of the easiest ways for me to identify this species is by the cones. The mature female cones are gray in color, which is kind of, is different than our other pine species. And they turn that grayish color because Loblolly pine hangs onto their cones, on their branches, for like two or three years. So the cones age on the branches. And that's another way to identify the species from a distance is that it often or almost always has cones on it. Whereas like longleaf and slash pine often drop all their cones. The cones are also very painful to touch. I had some of these in my yard when I was a kid, and I remember accidentally stepping on them in the front yard. The spines are very sharp. So they're conical in shape, they're grayish, and they're sharp and painful to touch. This species only occurs in central to north Florida, as well as the southeastern United States. So if you're in one of those regions, I would definitely recommend you get out this week and see if you can identify a loblolly pine, Pinus tata.